I know last session we talked about how both of you are feeling very disconnected from each other. Um, I wanted to know, you know, what are some things that you guys did this week to turn towards each other? Well, you know, I came home and after I was released and my home was different. My wife was different. This week, I've tried asking Anna um, earlier in the week after dinner if she could just sit down and talk. After dinner seems like the best time that she's available, but I don't know. You never consider that I'm tired. I'm literally the only one who's always working and you're just at home being lazy. It's always when you want to talk. No, I am just trying to get you to stop and to sit and to talk with me, but it seems like you're distracted. Um, you're always on your phone. I don't, I don't know who you're talking to, your coworkers or I don't, I don't know, but you're always distracted. See, it's always when you want. You're literally so selfish. So, Armand, I'm hearing that you're trying to put effort into speaking to your wife, but she's not quite reciprocating that. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Okay. And Anna, I'm hearing that it's bothering you that Armand is not coming to you and asking you about, you know, what time would work best for you. Am I getting that right? I mean, at least someone gets it. I'm like him. So, you know, I, I think that one thing that I would like for us to start working on is stating how you both feel about the situation using I statements rather than criticizing each other. So, you know, to help you better understand this, I'm going to give you an example. Um, and then I want you to think about it. So for example, there's a husband that comes home from a long day of work. He sees the kitchen is dirty and he tells the wife, you know, why didn't you clean the kitchen? Why is the kitchen so dirty? You're so lazy. What he did right there is criticize his wife for you know, not doing something rather than explaining to her how the mess is making her feel. So another way that he could actually restate this and explaining to her how this makes, her it makes him feel is by saying something along the lines of, you know, coming home from a long day of work and seeing the kitchen dirty makes me feel very frustrated. Does that make sense? Are you both able to, to see and hear the difference in the statements? Okay, so I think it's important for both of you to learn to communicate so that you both understand how you're feeling. I would like for us to try to practice this by inviting you both to restate what you just said, but using I statements. Who would like to go first? Um, I could go first. Um, I am upset and uh, discouraged when I feel that there isn't time to talk with my wife. And Anna, what would you like to say to your husband in response? I mean, I do want to talk, but I'm just frustrated that you never consider asking me what time we can talk. I would prefer to, for it to be another time besides just after dinner. Okay. So, so when would be a better time for us to talk? Um, how about in the morning before work? Okay, the mornings would work. So that was pretty great. I think you guys both did a really good job at rephrasing using I statements. Uh, you were e even able to work out a time that would work best for both of you. So how did that make you both feel? I feel like I'm being heard. Um, I feel that she's putting in some effort. Mm -hmm. And is this something that you feel you can both do at home, you know, when you're communicating throughout the day? Sure, we can try, yeah. Okay. Um, I would like to go back to the initial question about doing things that, you know, will bring you towards each other. And one of the things that I remember that you, you know, shared with me the first time we met is that you used to really enjoy your Friday dates. Um, so, you know, I'm just thinking about whether that's something that you both would like to pick up on again. Yeah, yeah that, that could be nice. Yeah. Okay. So do you think you'll be able to try that this week? 
Sure.